any pitch, any count. You're definitely seeing that now in college. Newell lines the 2-2 pitch toward the gap in right center. That'll score a run. Tappen cruises around third. And we're all tied up at one apiece. It does make it a little bit harder. You want to. Now Logan Michaels delivers the go-ahead RBI. See these hitters here. I mean, they, they're a lot of first pitch swings, which is not something you're seeing the last two days from the Cavaliers. Coaching third base. Flare down the left field line. It'll get down and will score a pair of runs. Ball gets away from Butler in the corner. Racing for third. Cotier slides in. Delivering a couple of runs to make it 4-1 to one, UVA. So for one, flight out to center. This one driven deep to left field. Butler goes back. He looks up. And it's gone! Zach Geloff with his fourth home run of the year, makes it 6-1 to one, Cavaliers. Gets a 0-1 fastball, center cut, and did not miss it, and the whole bench is going nuts right now. Team picture in front of the dugout. Here's the payoff pitch. Line drive, base hit to right. Michaels comes in, they're gonna hold Nick Kent at third. So now the Cavaliers today are five for eight with runners in scoring position. Now Brown facing a 2-2 pitch. And Kasanovich got out of it. 90 mile an hour heat. Consecutive strikeouts. The dangerous Bailey and the dangerous Brown and the Wolfpack leave the bases loaded. Put him down at no. that point in his career. Although that makes me wonder. Whoa, that ball scalded. Deep to left field. Butler going to run out of room. It's way out of here for Zach Geloff. I'm guessing Geloff hit that ball harder than you did for your RBI not to score Charles Johnson. It's possible. All I know is he's been hit, he's been hitting the weight room. Those have not been cheap.